It's election time in New Brunswick and it's time to roll out the fear. It's one of our greatest myths. For example, vote for you, it's like voting for the other party. Don't vote that way, you'll split the vote. First point, no such thing as vote splitting. You and your vote belong to you and your choices and your passions and the direction you want to see the province take. That's it. How it shakes out after that is all bent on analysis and perspectives and people trying to push their agenda. Voting is very intimate and it belongs only to you. Therefore, it's up to you to do the homework about what you would like to see for governance in your province. There's five choices this time, plus independent candidates. It might well be New Brunswick's on the cusp of a change equal to 1966 when the Equal Opportunities Act rolled in. One of the other myths that run through our political narrative is that a lot of the decisions are made in the back room. And maybe that's not even a myth. Maybe some people can quantify it, but I have not been able to yet in my research. So it's generally believed that no matter who you vote for, the people really making the decisions are people we don't get to vote for. But consider this. If that legislature has all five colors in it, and if that legislature had some independent candidates in it, then that's where the rules are made. And if those parties have to figure out how to work together in order to make that happen for the good of the province, then it changes the dynamic from being in power to being in governance. And it forces them into a cooperative mindset rather than a controlling mindset. So this election is a time for a minority government in New Brunswick, is it time to have different voices in that legislature, more than just one other one, rather than red or blue? Is it time for you, the voter, to have some courage to do the homework necessary and the confidence necessary in the wave of energy that's going to come at you that you're making a mistake and voting in a different way this time for the sake of a better decision-making process out of the legislature? It will be an interesting election. That's how I see it. Be good, have fun, love each other.